Hello there, Thomas. So how Hi. do you like Mallorca Blockchain Day so far? Is it your first time here? Yeah, I like it. It's my first time. I've mm -hmm. been with Mallorca before, but that's my first time at the conference, <laughs> obviously. During yeah. COVID times, could you visit more conferences or not so many? No, this is my first trip in actually two years. Two yeah. years? Yeah. No way. Okay, well, I really loved your speech. and. Um, Tell us more about the Electrum wallets and what's going on right now with it. What are you working on? Oh, uh, so we are co mostly consolidating code and preparing for Taproot as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we had, uh, I mean, we had a lot of development going on during the lockdown, as you can imagine, because there was uh, mm -hmm. little much else to do. Yeah. So uh, mm -hmm. we had a major release earlier this year. Uh, that's the second lightning release. So the first Lightning release was, I think, two years ago, more or less. And the new Lightning release has new features that make it uh, easier to use. Uh, but now we are kind of slowing down on uh, the features. Mm -hmm. We just want to make things uh, work uh, smoothly. We want to improve the user experience. We don't really want to add a lot of uh, new user visible features. Actually, we would like to simplify stuff. I mean, to make mm -hmm. it uh, more like uh, smooth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, you were saying that you didn't want to reveal your personality at first, but but then you did start yeah, like, that's speaking correct. out. Yes. And uh, wh why didn't you want to reveal it before? And how how did you get to start speaking on the conferences? Well, and when out? I first discovered Bitcoin, it was not clear whether it was legal at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's why. Uh, yeah, no, seriously. I mean, mm. uh, there was uh, it wasn't really. Uh, as uh, mainstream as, as today and yeah. uh, so when uh, was that when did you discover bitcoin i discovered bitcoin end of 2010 it was oh, okay. uh, there was a slash dot article i remember because i was i was uh, reading slash dot regularly and there was a first time uh, the market cap of bitcoin had reached one million dollar mm -hmm. so so this was a this was the title of a slash dot <laughs> article so I, I didn't even uh, read that on the same day it appeared. I, I read maybe several weeks later, mm -hmm. and then I went to visit the website. Uh, I tried to read the Satoshi white paper. Honestly, you tried to, but didn't finish. Or well, <laughs> I couldn't sleep because it was so oh. exciting for me. Uh, mm -hmm. The thing is. Uh, I had been uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, working on this idea of a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer currency before, mm -hmm. before Bitcoin. I mean, but oh. obviously I, I didn't oh. solve the double spend problem. Oh, okay. But this problem was like... Uh, so it was personal for you very much. It then. was very personal. Wow, okay. And uh, so I... Every time I tried to read the, the Satoshi's paper, my mind was closing itself because I was always uh, trying to relate it to stuff that I knew, but it was so different from what I expected mm -hmm. that I couldn't, uh, and also it was so exciting, I, I couldn't sleep literally for two days. <laughs> and, and then uh, then uh, eventually uh, I, I managed to sleep and mm. to read it properly. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay. Amazing. Uh, which next event, next conference, ne next country that you plan to visit with your presentation? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to stay a little bit in Spain mm. for, for vacation. Uh, good. But That's besides good that, I don't have any plans <laughs> at the moment. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome.